Well, a lot of parents complain their kids think money grows on trees. Well, there's a group of youngsters in Brooklyn who are learning how to make money and manage it. And they're only 10 years old. CBS 2 Cindy Shu takes us to school. Welcome to St. Elizabeth Catholic Academy, where these fifth graders are learning all about finances, from starting a company to balancing a checkbook. We learn how to save money and take responsibilities in life. I think that it's good for us to learn at a young age so that when we grow up, we can think back at our experience of saving money and that every penny counts. So if you have 100 pennies, that's already a dollar. Robin Yang spent more than a decade on Wall Street, but gave it up last year to focus on teaching children about fiscal responsibility. I think it's important for kids to learn where money comes from. It's not growing out of ATM machines. It's you have to earn it and put the money into the banks. She uses interactive games complete with play money to get the children excited about learning, traveling to different New York City schools for workshops that last four weeks. The class teacher says it's never too early to learn these life lessons. And when you consider all of the people who got mortgages and then lost their homes, the stories that you hear about the credit card debt that people are in. The kids also learn how to get their dream jobs. I want to be a computer engineer. Mm -hmm. I want to be a doctor. A scientist. A singer. <laughs> and what it takes to get there. You need to keep track of your income because I want to have a family when I grow up. And like the income for your children, your wife, and myself also. There are lessons that will last a lifetime. In Ozone Park, Cindy Shu, CBS 2 News. A little superstars right there. Yang says it's important for parents to teach these lessons at home so the next generation may be in better financial shape, especially with a job market that's only getting more and more competitive. A pageant winner helps kids in Queens feel empowered. Miss New York 2011 introduced Project Empower to St. Elizabeth's Catholic Academy. The program provides nonprofit services to schools to encourage student leadership. To kick off the event, students participated in a competition where they were asked to come up with an anti-bullying campaign. Officials hope the new initiative will provide an outreach center for students who need support. We want to make sure that when they leave our school that they are ready with their education to, to go on into the business world and to be leaders in our community and throughout the world. What we're trying to teach students is the skills to make them competitive in a global way, um, introducing them to those ideas early and then also giving them a chance to get hands-on experience in the business world, in the civic world and, and through leadership development as well. St. Elizabeth's is one of eight schools throughout the state participating in the program. The campaign plans to expand next year. How are you trustworthy and polite with your customers? I'm able to help them and if they need to find something, I'm going to lead them directly to it. How hardworking are you? I'm very hardworking because I live with my mother and my mother asks me to do lots and lots of chores. Today we were, uh, we were learning about job interviews, how you should be, how, how much you care into it. Do's and don'ts of job interviews, like if you like, what do you want for this job, like what skills do you have and what you need. Each class is about one hour long. Uh, the first 10 minutes I would uh, give them instructions or explain what job or interview is like. And then afterwards the students will break into small groups and then they will decide which one is going to be the boss today. And then the boss and the candidate will have a conversation just like in a real interview. I'm 10. I'm 11. I'm 10. I want to be a veterinary. A computer engineer. When I grow up I want to be a doctor. The job interview uh, preparation at the age of 10 is actually more of trying to give the students a purpose and explain to them why they need to learn math and science and social studies in school because in the job interviews they are always asked questions about what skills they have. It's more of exposing the students to what the real world is like so that they have an idea from early on they can be prepared. It's a young age 10 year old to be uh, thinking about job interviews and I, I didn't think it would fly I, I, to be honest with you but I changed my viewpoint after seeing how the kids worked with it. I was very impressed with the way they handled it. This is skills that they're going to learn that they will remember later on and maybe seven, eight, ten years down the road when they're applying for a job. I think I should worry about now 
then I could get better at the future. Don't make those mistakes. No, don't make those mistakes. It felt great because it gave me like a little, a little step closer to life. We hear the questions now, and so we have an idea of what the bosses are probably gonna ask. So Samantha, would you hire Kennedy? Definitely. All right. Thank you.